of a tragic accident at Bridalvale Falls. Rescue crews spent hours today recovering the body of a 40-year-old man who died after he fell nearly 200 feet. News specialist Tanya Dean is in Provo Canyon. Tanya, the man wasn't hiking alone, was he? The man was hiking with a nine-year-old boy. They started here at the falls, but authorities say they got to a ridge over here to the west in an area that's very steep, and that's where the man fell. The boy apparently didn't even see it happen. This is a very, very popular attraction. Bridal Vale Falls brings in thousands of visitors every summer, but there are areas that can be dangerous. It's easy to get to the base of the falls without too much difficulty. Beyond that, it creates problems. Authorities say yesterday, 40-year-old Adrian Vanderclis from Roosevelt was climbing with his fiance's nine-year-old son. They got about a quarter mile west of the falls, about 5,800 feet elevation, when they hit a rough patch. There's a very steep area, maybe 70, 75 degree angle. Um, that's not quite a vertical cliff, but it's very difficult. Authorities say the boy was hiking ahead of Vanderclis, and he didn't even hear him fall. He didn't see him, and nobody else saw saw him fall. Uh, maybe he hit some loose rock or maybe he just stumbled, but there's very little room for error in that area. The man's fiance called rescuers after she couldn't see them and didn't hear from them for several hours. The boy eventually made it back on his own. It was getting too dark last night to reach the man's body, but rescuers spent several hours today getting him off the mountain. Authorities say there's an average of one or two deaths every year at Bridal Vale Falls. It's really easy to get far beyond your skill level really quickly, and by then, if you don't just stay put, you're putting yourself at risk, and some people don't recognize the risk until it's too late. Authorities say if you're planning to hike at Bridal Vale Falls, there are always areas that can be treacherous. So come prepared with the proper gear and be aware of the dangers. In Utah County, Tanya Dean, KSL 5 News.